Do you believe in ghosts and demons? Do you believe in the supernatural? Come with us as we explore the East Coast's darkest pasts. Join the East Coast Hauntings team in finding out the truth if there is life after death. Show yourself, spirits of Clinton Train Tunnel. Well, it sure doesn't look like much, but it turns out that this spot is the very site of one of the darkest moments in our state history. This is the actual site of the Salem witch hangings. And neighbors have suspected for years that they knew the truth. Tonight, as Shante Land shows us, they have actual proof. No, the markings on this map that 72-year-old Thomas Brophy has kept in his family. And this area here shows what was, as it says here, Gallus Hill. Coincides with what the city of Salem confirms this week to be the exact site of the infamous hangings of 19 people. It's the probable place of executions. From the 1692 Salem witch trials. How do you feel knowing that this right here is in your backyard? Uh, it, like I say, we've always kind of lived with the suspicion that it was. Brophy, whose family built and owned this house for five generations. This is the area over here that everybody is talking about. Walks us to the site. And this is what they call Proctor's Ledge. This, oh, is what you, okay. this is what you're standing on right now, this ledge. The homeowner tells me that this is the spot where the accused witches were hung. Many across town say they could see them hanging from this hill. If there was people hanging from a tree right here, they'd be definitely visible. It's definitely a dark part of our history. Salem's mayor, Kim Driscoll, confirms that no remains were buried or remain on the site. The colony accused 200 people of performing witchcraft. They later admitted that the trials and killings were a mistake. It's a pivotal part of American history, and it's informed our modern-day judicial um, undertaking. I think we're dealing with it in the right way by trying to memorialize those that uh, passed away. In Salem, Shante Lands, WBZ News. New England, 1692. A hostile land. <laughs> The Puritans thought of North America as the devil's territory. The devil has been raised among us. A supernatural enemy. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. It's a biblical passage. I see the creature. So on another witch's finger. However, a charge of witchcraft was to take power over another human being. A Salem besieged by Satan's witches? or by madness. A corrupt court. They told me if I confess, I should have my life. A hanging judge. He believed in what the court was doing. What is your verdict? Guilty. The true story of the Salem witch hunt. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass. My mission today for ghost hunting is to contact Bridget Bishop, the first accused witch in Salem, Massachusetts. Yeah, okay, so that, were, that were hung here, you know, but this, this is what they call practice ledge. This How are you doing? How are he's big into ghost hunting and I'm everything, trying. so he's recording right now. Oh, might, if it's all right oh, with you, we might yeah, like, use yeah, it or yeah. something for. You have that? The energy from this hill and sight are intense. You could easily feel the energy within the surrounding area. Still at EUP session. This is one of the trees the gentleman said was planted in memorial 
one of the guys that was hung by his family members years later. On this site, the memorial part, this was different than the Proctor's Ledge. This is where they held the memorial for the victims of the 19 people that were hanged in the Salem Witch Trial. Will we get what we came here for, for Bridget Bishop to talk to us? State my name, or say your name, into that recorder right now. right now where they hung the witches back in 1692 I wasn't expecting it to be around houses like this huh I wasn't expecting it to be around houses like this it's kind of interesting you were I was not were you yeah I knew Walgreens was nearby but I didn't know it was like in a neighborhood it's in there well, let's go to the bus stop. I think that's was where the, where they used to hang the witches. It's like somebody's backyard. Huh? It's like somebody's backyard. Is this where we're going, Joe? I'm pretty sure, maybe. And that's where it said it was a back here, right? Definitely near here, but is this the whole thing? I wonder where they hung it. Let's take a right. So there's no entry after dusk. Let's ask him. Excuse me, sir. I'm just curious. Me and my buddy here are uh, coming to visit Proctor's Ledge. Is this the whole thing right here? Uh, Side of the hill down. Huh. Oh. Awesome. And, and uh, 
that's they got the uh, the stones like uh, blocks with the names of all 19 people. Well, that's what I saw on yeah, the that, that, that were hung here, you know. But this this is what they call Proctor's Ledge. This I'll give you a quick story about it. This, Absolutely. This, this whole. I'm um, just to let you know oh, he's um hi, he's he's, he's huh? uh this is my buddy. Nice to meet you. He's you? big into ghost hunting and I'm everything, fine. so he's recording right now. Oh, might, if it's right? all right oh, with you, we might yeah, use yeah, it or yeah. something for cool. No, but this this is all Proctor's Ledge. This is. Uh, John Proctor owned the whole thing. He did a, uh, uh, he used to farm this whole property up here. There's a lot of farmland over here before. And when you before, go right? down there, out of the 19 stones that you'll see, you'll see one with his name on it. He was ended up one of the 19 that was hung here for witchcraft. So he must have had some money too, and uh, he's still uh, got That's it. what they were after, money of land back then. I thought it was yeah. mostly um, ladies uh, that they had gotten with that, but some, no, some guys no, too, a huh? a lot of money, uh, money and land, you know? Wow. That's you, incredible. You can get him convinced, you know what I mean, and people convinced that he's a witch or something, and he owned a lot of property. Now, all of a sudden, he's gone, and aha. Let's, That's amazing. Let's you can get the, the property, whole you know? the community to really but believe it. Anyways, in all that. you can take a walk right around in here, down in here. And, uh, now, you're from a lot of those come over here. Yeah, and thanks yeah, for the, no, any, like I say, this the history, is, too. This is we city love probably it. probably here, but the, uh, the computer, it's, it's funny. If you follow it, it brings you right to here. And, Everybody gets lost, you know. They, yeah, they, I'm glad you came out here. I was, yeah. You, you must see people wander around all the time. To, I'll show you down here. They're gonna shoot out of your shot. Really appreciate it. Where are you from? Um, Cumberland. Cumberland, Cumberland Island, down by the Providence area. Oh. Oh, nice. That's a nice area. Yeah. Have you looked over here for a while? Yeah, I, I grew up. This is a beautiful town, especially this time of year. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw... This is what they call Proctor's Ledge. You can see from the ledge and everything. And what it was is there, there were three, uh, three professors from Salem State University. And they did a couple of years, took a couple of years, just a little project. And, and they, uh, uh, you know, did a study on it as to exactly where it was. And this, this is where it ended up, right here. And the reason being, they found that they did a uh, check on, on a lot of the properties and everything back then, and people lived here. Mm -hmm. And like one of them says, it was funny, he says nobody had an iPhone or an iPad. But uh, people wrote things down, diaries, you know? And the people that lived down here said that they could look out on their back porch and see the people hanging from right here. Oh, wow. And so that's they get why to piece it together from the different... Smithsonian Institute was here last year. And they, really? got a, they did a special on it. In fact, it, you can go onto their website and see it. But they spent a couple of days here uh, researching and, and filming here. And uh, they, see these trees? These, these are black locust trees. There's not too many of them left. They're a nice little old tree. That's cool. uh, you can see how big some of the son of the guns are down here, you know? But uh, John Proctor's grandchildren, years later, wanted to do something to, as a memorial to him. Mm -hmm. And they. they the annals that they found, the family returned and planted 50 of these black locust trees on, the pro on his property. And there's not too many of them left, obviously. There's three or four of them out front where you just come in by, you know, and there's a few down in here left and up here. And, you know so what I mean? all the ones that you see here are from uh, Well, the offshoot of the offshoot, That's you know cool. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And everything. And there's also in the annals, I'll tell you that some of the people that were taken down were thrown into a nearby culvert. They're saying this is the culvert right, right here. It's kind of filled in right now, right between these stones. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. This, this is the area that they're saying. And uh, this is uh, this water that comes actually in a culvert right underneath Pope Street down there. When you come down the hill, when you come around the corner, you can pull right up. And right where the memorial is, is right where that car is now. Right you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You can pull right up. And yeah, that's up what we're seeing see. online, uh, right? the memorial. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So you, you can, you know, like I say, you can pull right up there and there's some places you can take pictures and stuff. And they want, what they're saying is if you're down there, you're looking up here at Proctor's Ledge where everything occurred. You know what I mean? Like this so area right here here the, yeah, the, the city area. put up this fence because they were afraid that young kids would fall over and get hurt. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, other than that, the fence was never here, obviously years ago. You know? It's amazing. But that. Uh, I wasn't expecting yeah. it to be like right in a neighborhood like this. Oh yeah, it's pretty actually, cool. Actually, actually, this extended out here, out to Pope Street. But uh, you know, about 25 or so years ago. Uh, this part was sold and was privately owned and sold to a developer who came in and put six houses in here. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Kind of wiped out. This is kind of, thank God, 
this part was left. Yeah, at least you get some of the history. But on Halloween night and everything, we, did, uh, we get about 100,000 people in the city. I believe it, yeah. And, and the witches have a, uh, a Wiccan religion that they do. Mm -hmm. And right where you are parked is Gellis Hill Park. You can go down and turn around up there when you're come, going back. That little side that, street? That, that, yeah. At the end of that is Gellis Hill Park. You'll see a water tank up in the hill. It says Gellis Hill. There's a witch on it in Salem, Mass. You know what I mean? We'll check that out, too. Yeah. yeah. And... and uh, the Wiccan, the, all the Wiccan accused, you know, people of witchcraft, they, they f uh, go up and they have a seance, or, or a, actually a Wiccan religion service, and they form a big circle up there, and I walked up there two years ago to see it, and it was so big, it covered the whole ballpark, and it was so big they had an inner circle to it. If it's a day like this, they'll, they'll get two or three thousand people. Wow. It starts at six o'clock, it's over at seven, see there's people down there at the memorial right now coming in from the other end, see him? Oh, there. wow. That's where the memorial is. So glad you were here. I don't think we yeah. would, maybe we would have found it, but I would have had no <laughs> yeah. idea. Because like you said, it will bring you right to that spot. Oh, yeah. And then you yeah. see the signs there, so yeah. you think but that this it, is it's it. It's kind of confusing, you know? But it, the, the, the service will start at 6. It's over at 7.30. They'll send about a dozen motorcycles. We get about 150 extra police officers in the city <laughs> that night. It's over 100,000 people. Oh, it's wow. not the biggest, you like, know? The, you know, the roads and, aren't all that yeah. big. Or... And, and they'll come down with the motorcycles, you know, in a V formation, and they'll lead everybody... Everybody will start up around 3 o'clock in the afternoon and it'll be completely black clothes, you know what I mean? Yep. Men, women, children, all in black clothes. Children too, huh? And Yeah, and, and at six, at 7.30, they're all through and the cops will escort them right down here, right down here to, into the city. And they'll, they'll uh, actually pray down, complete silence with a candle. Wow. You know? Oh and wow! Like I say, if 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 it's a rainy, cold, miserable night, you you might get three or four hundred people. You know what I mean? But if it's a night like today, you know what I mean, and everything, you could end up with a couple of thousand people, not walking down into the city. It's supposed to be a whole different town during that time of the year. I can only oh, yeah. imagine. It is. I gotta run, guys. Can so I ask you uh, really quick, right. um, just real quick before you go, because yeah. I know you've lived here for a while. Yeah. Have you ever seen or um, heard anything? You don't seem like somebody that believes too much in supernatural, but living right here yeah. on the property for so long, have you ever seen anything kind of weird? Not particularly. No, not, just not had to ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not not particularly. All right. But this uh, this has turned in quite a religious thing because a lot of people it got a lot of people to look into their histories. Mm -hmm. and when they went into the history, they found out they were related to some of these nineteen. That's so cool. And you'll see people come and they'll leave candles here on that rock. Or there was a woman a couple of months ago. She left a whole circle of seashells. Oh, so those. Cool there and everything else. That know? must be so interesting for you to so, see the people coming and go. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, by thank the way. you. Have a good time. Nice Enjoy. to meet you. Thank you. Thanks for the help. Okay. That's awesome when he stopped. Yeah, we had our own little personal tour guide there. That guy was really cool. Yeah, so you want to do a quick ghost box session or something like over here? Do you want? Because I'm feeling a lot. I'm feeling a lot of energy right here. I mean, we can do it here, but if we come from the other spot, we can get into that area. Do you think that's more? I would rather do it here on the ledge. Okay. Because this is where they used to, like you said, hung by trees and stuff. And these, he said that we would have never known that these trees were planted in memorial of those people. Yeah. Oh, do you want me to hold? You want me to shoot this for a little bit then? Right now, we're. That was awesome that we met that guy. I think that guy was in the news um, station that uh, I actually, in the beginning of this video that I saw online, they interviewed him. I think that that was his house that I was actually interviewed. That wouldn't surprise me because he seems like he's pretty on top of it. We were only wandering there for a minute or two before he came out to help. So yeah. he definitely seems like he's uh in the area a lot. Right now I'm gonna do the spirit box session. Anyone here with us? Any witches? Is Bridget Bishop here? Is B Bridget Bishop here? What was that? I don't know. I feel know. a lot of energy around me. It does feel a little creepy, doesn't it? Maybe we'll sleep right. 
Bridget, are you here? Maybe we can go on to the rock itself. Is everyone on to the rock right now? Is there anyone here with us? Please come forward. I feel really different right now. Like the energy was. This be a little creepy out here. It is Salem, getting close to October. I don't think we get anything on this, dude. Let's do an EVP session. This is one of the trees the gentleman said was planted in memorial of one of the guys that was hung by his family members years it was later. Awesome, actually. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. Alright. It's another one of those trees. Witches that were hung here, can you tell me your name? Please. We are friendly, we mean you no harm. We're just here to visit Salem. You have that? Yeah, it's just a little weird. There's someone right there. Please. We are friendly, we mean you no harm, we just here to visit. Salem. I didn't hear it the second time. Me either. Is Bridget Bishop here? I feel even weird just standing on this thing. Do you? It does feel like there's a little bit of energy over here. You know me, I don't usually say that, but... I feel a little bit of energy to it. Can you tell me how old you are? What year you were born? We can definitely try here for a couple minutes, but I, I feel like the memorial on the down area, area down there. That's where the memorial is, apparently down there. That's where the GPS brought us over there and where we parked. I feel like... we're going to walk down there or drive? We'll drive down there. Looks like there's some pretty easy to get. It's Bridget Bishop here. I have nothing. Wanna go to the other spot? Yeah, I just wanna get some B roll of this place first. Is Bridget Bishop here?
or any witches that were hung here. We were just up there before, guys. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? How old are you? Is anyone here with me who would like to communicate with me? Any of the witches that were hanged? Here? Tell me your name. There's something right there. I think it's saying Elizabeth. AJ. Yeah. What do you think about this? Elizabeth. It sounded more like footsteps or something to me. It's me. Flowers are cool. Who did we get in there? Car going by, maybe? I don't know. Tell me, guys, what do you think this is? What is that? Oh, it's maybe Proctor? That was the guy that the gentleman was telling us about, John Proctor. It sounds like Proctor, doesn't it? I think this is Proctor. Okay, is it is Mr. Proctor here with us at this time? Let me put it above his little memorial right there. John Proctor, August 19, 1692. Can you state your name or say your name into that recorder right here? I wasn't, I'm, I'm not getting any like feelings like we did before when we were up there. Are you? Nope. Let's put it back. Okay, is it Mr. Is Mr. Proctor here with us at this time? Let's put it above his memorial right there. John Parker, August 19, 1692.
please state my name or say your name into that recorder right now. Sarah Good, she was in the book that we used to read in school. Oh.